What's up, everyone? It's Casters here, and it's time to play Subnautica Experimental Version. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, man, oh, man. How's it going, everybody? How is it going? I hope you guys are having an amazing, amazing day today. I hope your weekend went super, super awesome. Last time, we got to check out a bunch of really, really cool creatures in Creative. Um, we checked out the Warper, we checked out Crab Squids, we checked out the Sea Treaders, and like right away you guys let me know, a bunch of you guys let me know, that I spawned the Sea Treaders in like the total wrong biome, so I'm thinking for sure later today we're gonna go and see what they're like on the actual path where they are supposed to be. Um, and we also checked out the Lava Lizards, which are absolutely like my favorite, I think they're so stinking cool. Um, another thing that you guys went ahead and let me know is that there's been some changes to the Cyclops here. Here, let's get our display going back on here. All right. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh Your my gosh! That new voice is so stinking awesome. I absolutely love it. It is so amazing. It kind of reminds me of, like, uh, the computer voice from the original Half-Life games. If you guys have played those, then you probably know what I'm talking about. And this is the other brand new stinking thing. Can you guys even believe it? We can actually use the storage on the Cyclops. Oh, this is so amazing. It's like, I can't even believe this, guys. This is like a year of waiting. I've wanted the stinking storage in the uh, Cyclops here forever and ever. It is so amazing. I can't even believe it. Now, I did go and run around the rest of the sub, and there aren't any other changes to it yet, as far as I can tell. Everything else kind of seems the same. Um... Sorry about the little bit of grindy funky chunk here. I think it's just because we have the Cyclops in the game here. Everything was totally good until I brought the Cyclops into the mix. And then everything kind of got a little bit grindy. But anywho, I've been jamming out on creative, guys. I've just been having like a super, super fun time. Now it's like still the weekend while I'm recording this. I'm going to be out of town a little bit this week, going a couple states over for uh, a funeral. I just kind of wanted to let you guys know what's going on with me because I probably won't be answering comments and stuff like that for a few days. Now, first thing I want to do, guys, is I want to hop into our Seamoth here. Let's do this. And I want to head over aboard, to the Lost River. All right, so right over here, I actually have a hole that kind of goes straight down into the uh, the Lost River, but rather than take that, I want to show you guys the real kind of way here. We should be able to just go straight down into this crevasse, down to the seafloor, and we're going to be going way stinking down there. It's going to be super deep. I think we go down to like 700 meters deep or something like that. It's absolutely crazy. Now I'm thinking about it, is that like a full... Seamoth full of just compensation. You know what I'm saying? Just pressure compensation. Am I going the right way? I feel like this is the wrong way. We can find this. I found it once. I can find it again. Do, 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 do. All right. I feel like we're, uh, we're on to something here. Oh, yeah. Look at the drop off. That's what I'm talking about. Now we are on to something. Let's go ahead and get straight down here and see what we can find. Check that out. There is a chunk of the Aurora all the stinking way down here. Let's do a little sonar blast. Check out the the layout of the land here. The layout of the sea caves. I think if we go this way... I think if we go this way, we should end up finding that lost river. Is it right over here? I think this might be it over here. Now, there is a lot of stuff that is not done yet with this biome. It just got introduced, so there's really only one main feature here. Um, and it kind of takes a second for it to load in. It's a little bit, it's a little bit buggy, you know? It's super experimental. Brand new stinking biome just got added. As you can see, there's like not very many layers yet in the cave. It's uh, all kind of got that soapy, smooth look to it. Oh, check that out. They optimized the loading. That ribcage is loading up right away now. Now, this is absolutely crazy. You guys are going to like, if you haven't seen this. Oh, my gosh. 
Yeah, look at how huge this amazingly giant skeleton is. No, I'm thinking, is this like what the sea dragon leviathan is? Because if so, it looks like it could eat a reaper absolutely whole. Look at that. I mean, look at the size. Let's get out of the sea moth. This thing could just totally eat this thing whole. The reaper has to grab a hold of that thing and struggle a little bit to destroy it, right? Like, no, that is not even a joke. That's not even a joke. It's so huge. <laughs> All right, we've got a pretty straight on view into the mouth of the beast here. Let's see if we can get the Cyclops right inside. Ah, oh, the teeth are, the teeth are too narrow. No, come on. Oh, we can do this. Maybe if we honk, we'll get in. Oh, it's kind of working. Honking is like getting us into the jaws. Oh, yes! Oh, sweet! This is the best parking job ever in Subnautica. All right, so we can just like hang out here. Get back into Little Mothy. <laughs> we just parked this thing inside of the mouth of this giant stinking skeleton. Does it fit head to tail? Look at that. It totally stinking does. Now that is just like an epic sight if I have ever even seen it. Giant, huge skeleton head, like eating a stinking Cyclops. That is so epic. Oh my God. All right. Okay. Enough of that. Let's get out of this guy. Now, something you guys let me know is there's another mob in the game that is not yet in like a survival world, but it's something else that we could spawn in. So we've got our... Cyclops all nice and tucked away inside of this scary huge skeleton mouth and I now want to spawn in item spine eel Ew, oh, that's so nasty Look at that thing. Hold on. Let's get some more in here. Oh That noise they make is like terrifying. These guys are so gross. Let's get a good look at one of these things right in their face. Ah! It's only got one eye. You see that? It's got an eye on the right hand side. No eye in the left. Do they, do they all only have one eye? Is it because they all battle so much? Now they are just like going up into the, uh, the ceiling here. I'm guessing they're going to like disappear through the world when they get up there. I don't really know where they're going. It seems like anything I spawn in creative just sort of swims away from us. It's totally fine, right? <laughs> now, we've got some spine eels going on. Let's get a couple of other creatures in here just to kind of see how they react. I want to know how these new spine eels do against my new favorite um, lava lizards, right? Item lava lizard. Let's do five of those guys. Bam. And now let's do spine eel five. Um, oh, oh, down here. Look at that. Oh, they do fight. Yes. Are you guys battling? Oh, sweet. I love these lava lizards. I hope they win the fight. These spine eels look pretty vicious. I don't know how it's going to end up here. Come on, lava lizards. You guys got this. Oh, funky. Did you see that spine eel like crinkling up as he gets bit? Or what is going on? Oh, he's like dead. Lava Lizard totally took him out. You know match for that new thing. That thing is so crazy. All right, so it looks like when they die, their other eye just sort of like disappears into its head and then its jaws are just hanging open. All right, now how is this guy doing against them? I feel like we need to get some more spine eels in here so there's a chance against these Lava Lizards. Whatever, we'll just get more of both in here. Why not? Why even not? Oh, they just ate him too. Oh my gosh. All right, now what happens if we get a reaper in here? Item. <laughs> reaper Leviathan. <laughs> oh my gosh, they are so sick and loud. Oh, where did he go? He just left. Um, let's try it again. No, come back. Come back to me. Will they fight the lava lizards? 
No, it just it looks like they just totally swim away from us. Everything is just like swimming away. Yeah, it seems like things are pretty stinking new here in the Lost River. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here for right now. I kind of want to. I want to see how big the Reaper is compared to this like skeleton. Let's see if we can get like a bunch in here and get a good look at them before they all disappear. All right, we'll just get like five in here. Look at that! They are not even a thing. One of those things teeth could just wreck a reaper. Not even a joke. It is so crazy. All right, guys, I'm gonna BRB super quick. I wanna see if I can find the uh, sea treader path so we can really see some of these sea treaders in action. All right, we are back and I have found the sea treader path. If I hit F1 here, and right now it says player biome about halfway through all the words there underneath the camera kind of stuff um right now we're in the grand reef but when we come over here this ground right here is what turns into the sea treader path and there's coordinates up there too you can see the camera world position that shows our posi our position here in the world so if you're having trouble finding where the sea treader path is supposed to be this is um definitely it here now, I kind of want to follow this for a little bit here and just kind of decide the best place to go ahead and spawn in a couple of these sea treaders. This does look like a much better kind of path for them. It's very nice and flat. Oh, here we go. Now it's really opening up. Now, is this still sea treader path? Yes, indeed. Super cool. Here, let's close this for a second. Oh, this is really cool. It's like these huge tunnels. Is this still the sea treader path? Oh, totally. This totally is. This is so stinking cool. All right, let's go ahead. Let's hop out of our sea moth here and let's get a couple of these guys walking. I want to see how they act in, um, in the right kind of place where they're not just going to sink through the earth. These are some massive sea caves. They're super, super cool. Um, I want to make sure I give them enough room. You probably just do it right about here. Item. C. Treader. T Treadwer. Treader. There we go. All right, man. Here you are. Let's get you some buddies. Bam. Oh, they're so cool. They're so stinking cool. All right, remember how last time I was like, do they have variable sizes? They totally do. Check this out. On flat ground, we've got that cool little cute tiny guy there and kind of a bigger one here. And that guy looks bigger than both of them. Let's get another one. Bam. I'm just going to keep spawning more and more in. It seems like they have some different colors. I don't know if there's some sort of a biome change happening here. Uh, let's go ahead, hit F1. Sea Treader Cave Light. Oh, so they, they go through multiple kind of things here. Let's get in our sea moth and let's just kind of observe these guys for a little while. Do a little bit of scientific exploration. Hmm, it doesn't look like they're moving much better, does it? It kind of looks like they're just sort of stuck in the ground right there. Dang, I was really hoping that they would kind of move. Maybe... Maybe this part isn't done yet. Let's go back out into the open a little bit. <laughs> Try again, see if they walk a little bit more. Because they totally are not walking. They're just like all standing there. So my question about this great migration that these sea treaders are on is like once this path ends, it just becomes the Grand Reef. Are they just going to then turn around and just sort of forever be walking this path over and over? Oh, what is the little one doing? You see that? He just like stopped and he put his hands up almost like he's eating the shoals of fish or something. Are you fishing? Oh, he pooped! <laughs> That's what was going on. I knew some sort of event was happening. I just didn't know that it was one of a uh, gastronomic nature. Oh no! The baby just sunk through the earth. You saw that. He just fell through and let, he let loose like this roar of devastation as he disappeared into the earth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Are you going to freak out too? It's almost like he was just going to turn around. Oh, he's zooming. He's zooming. 
This is so crazy. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of bugs with these guys still, but yeah, definitely expected because they were just added and only as a spawnable creature in the highly experimental version. So it's it's still super, super cool. All right, really quick before we go, I want to know what do the spine eels look like in the dark here down in the Grand Reef? Let's do five of them. Oh, they're just like leaving. They are just like leaving. Oh, are they going after this guy? Oh, they're going after the fish. Look at that. They're totally like fishing right now. A little less bioluminescent than I thought they would be. They don't really glow in the dark yet. Oh no, the spineels are attacking the sea moth. Look at that. <laughs> These guys are vicious, nasty little creatures. I really am not... I'm not enjoying the thought of finding these guys in future Subnautica. They just look absolutely terrifying. Alright guys, that is going to do it for today. As always, thank you guys so, so much for coming and hanging out with me today. I seriously, seriously do appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing, amazing rest of your day. I will too. I'll catch you next time. And this is Cassers. Out. Ooh, up a tree.